Hey guys, so last week we covered the idea of Casey Hull's grid tracing tours, and I mentioned that there were some places that this had kind of taken my, uh, my brain that uh, were somewhat different from Casey's approach to it. We're going to go over that this week. Uh, again, I'm going to use the magic of post-production to give myself a grid to play with, <clears throat> and I'm actually going to start this off by kind of completely breaking the thing that we were playing with last week, where we have this lovely and uh, very, very harmonious relationship here going back and forth with these hybrids, both top as well as bottom, right? Because as cool as that looks, it doesn't give us a lot of opportunities to transition back and forth between the two sides. As I mentioned then, um, Casey's kind of been coming at it from the perspective of doing isolations on the side in order to kind of switch up which end of the pattern you might want to work on, right? <clears throat> which I always get confused at that point in the pattern because I always forget, oh, am I isolating around my right hand? That's right. Um, so instead, we're going to toy around with the concept of well, what if instead of finding these lovely little, you know, patterns where we're essentially our hands are moving in those infinity symbols going side to side, what if instead they're coming from a perspective where they're working vertically like so? Um, for instance, what if I keep those same rules and isolate around the thumb into my right hand, but now I'm going to be doing anti-spin with my left hand up around my shoulders in this nice little body tracing arrangement, right? And then um, I will, of course, be switching down below into isolating around my left pinky end. So I do isolate around the right, isolate around the left, isolate around the right, isolate around the left. Yeah? <clears throat> and of course, I can do this same thing on the other side of my body. Notice I'm doing this with both my thumbs pointed up. <clears throat> so it becomes da-da, da-da, and then da-da. Da -da. Yes. Like so, right? Okay, but fundamentally, haven't we like done exactly the same thing that we did last time, where we've created these lovely patterns that work along just one uh, set, uh, I guess, like a corner of, uh, of the grid, rather than moving all the way across it? Yes, but what we've changed is uh, this little stop point uh, in between the two patterns, right? So rather than having my stop points be here and here, I now have my stop points here and here, where both my thumbs are pointed up on either side of my body, right? And this actually is an arrangement, of course, that we've seen in another grid tracing pattern, namely this one, where we isolate, anti-spin, anti-spin, around, and oh, look at that. Same stop point, but on the other side of the body, right? So from here, for example, I can do all that bit of business, Isolate, anti-spin, 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 anti-spin. Oh, how about that? Come around and find the same pattern on the other side of my body. Isolate, anti-spin, anti-spin, anti-spin. Oh, snap. Isolate, anti-spin, anti-spin, anti-spin. Yes! So, we're, what we're, all we're doing is we're taking a different one of those grid tracing patterns that Casey's already put out uh, content on, and we're using that instead to get back and forth. <clears throat> now, could you make the argument, then, that why don't you just apply that same idea, and rather than having it work in split-time opposites like so, why not just have it work in together same, uh, in these positions right here? Well, you absolutely can do that. Let's give that a shot. So, for example, I'm going to go from here, boom, and I know I'm going to isolate, 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 anti-spin, 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 boom! And now... I'm able to do the pattern across the top, boom. And now I'm going to isolate, 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 anti-spin, 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 boom. And I'm back to the bottom side. <clears throat> Either one of these is really an option. <coughs> Oop, good morning. Um, to be perfectly frank with you, I think the split time opposite one looks a little bit better. That's just me. Um, and it's not that big an adjustment to do <coughs> the line vertically rather than horizontally like this base pattern, rather than doing it here, to do it <coughs> here, as well as the fact that I just think that that tracing part around the, <coughs> around the shoulders, behind the head bit, up top, looks a bit cleaner. Um, or not a bit cleaner, but a little bit more interesting. 
Anyway, so um, yeah, that's, that's what I got for you guys on this one. I hope you found it as interesting and entertaining as I did. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'm sure there's more coming on this topic, so keep your eyes peeled here as well as to the Double Staff group on Facebook. Thanks a lot, and I'll be back with you for more tech in two weeks. Peace. This video right here exists thanks to the wonderful support of these folks right here. They found me at patreon.com slash draxfactorpoi and were kind enough to make a contribution to continue my efforts to create educational flow arts content for people all over the world. If you or someone that you know has learned something from one of the videos that I've put out there, please consider going to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi or drexfactor.com slash support and making a small contribution to helping me continue this effort, putting out educational videos to people the world over and teaching them about the love of flow arts. Thank you in advance.